one of my favorite free AWS tool is AWS Workshops. The website is workshops.aws. Not only this is free, but all these workshops are created by AWS employees such as specialist solutions architect, pro server architects, etc. They are also kept up to date with changing updates and everything. So once you go here, there are over 100 workshops. So on the top right, you can search the area you want to learn and all these workshops are hands-on step by step. So one area that newcomers struggle is AWS security. So you can just type security and it will list all the workshops for security. Each workshop will be tagged with a level. So level 400 is the most difficult workshop. So you have to have some kind of basic understanding. Uh, level 100 is the easy ones. So if I scroll down, uh, if you are just starting AWS and you want to know IAM, how to secure uh, your resources with roles and stuff. So this workshop is really good security baseline workshop and you can click get started and then you can just follow these instructions and each workshop also says how much time you need to allocate. So this workshop is two hours. Uh, once you learn this, you can go a little bit higher level, level 300. And then once you are done that, you got the idea, you go do level 400. So search the topics that you want to learn with hands-on and do those workshops. My next free favorite AWS resource is serverless land. So if you are someone who is working in real world projects or just trying to learn serverless, the serverlessland.com website has plenty of resources. Even though the website name does not have AWS in it, this website is actually created and maintained by AWS serverless specialists and developer advocates. So as you could see, you can search from content such as blogs, videos, office hours. Uh, you can click code and it will show the patterns, workflows and code snippets. One of my favorite area to go and learn from is this patterns. As a solutions architect, you need to learn and deploy different patterns. So for example, customer wants to know uh, how do I implement Lambda with EventBridge. Uh, so you can simply scroll down, select your code such as Python, from the left, uh, select the AWS services, such as Amazon EventBridge, and then it is going to show all the patterns related to EventBridge, such as how do you uh, invoke a HTTP API that goes to EventBridge, uh, etc. Now this one is EventBridge to Lambda. So if I click view pattern, uh, it is going to give us the GitHub repository as well as the Lambda code. If I click learn, it is going to show the learning paths for serverless, some of these links will actually go back to the workshops website that we just explored. So for example, if I click getting started with serverless workshops, if I click this, as you could see, this takes us to the workshop studio. The next free resource, this is a relatively new one. If you are confused what cloud role is suitable for you and what topics you need to learn for that cloud role, you can take this quiz created by AWS itself. You can go to this page, click next, and then you have to answer some questions. So let's go through it real quick. All right, I actually got two roles. Uh, so I got cloud solutions architect, and if I scroll down, I also got cloud developer. But the important part is it lists the skills needed for each role. So for example, for architect, you need to have the business acumen, good teamwork, leadership and communication skills, um, enterprise computing, familiarity with one of the programming languages, uh, networking concepts, cloud-based security concepts. I would have added system design here as well, but this gives you starting point. It also lists the average salary of architects, though always take uh, the salary numbers with a grain of salt, but more importantly, it gives you a free learning resources provided by AWS. So I'm going to click that in a minute, just hold off on that. Uh, if I go to the cloud developer, uh, daily activities for developer as well as skills needed, creativity and focus, general programming, API programming, database, scripting. Uh, interesting, they put uh, system architecture and design under developer, which is good, but I would put this under architect as well. Uh, networking, DevOps, uh, average salary, as well as uh, the free developer learning plan which brings me to the next free resource. So if I click this, this brings me to AWS training and certification. So you can create an account here and there is a bunch of free training available. So for example, if you are starting in cloud, this cloud essential learning plan, 
If you have clicked the developer learning plan, this should have enrolled you in this course. Uh, so if I click this, uh, it is going to open up all the lectures here. Uh, so you can go through this and get started. The other thing that is very cool, this is very new, is AWS Cloud Quest Cloud Practitioner. Uh, so this is a game based learning. So it's gonna take you through the city and then it's going to ask you different questions and teach you cloud computing essentials, cloud first steps, computing, high availability, etc. I highly recommend taking this cloud quest. Uh, this one is fun. This next tip really impacted my cloud career in a positive way. You always hear folks say you should go to AWS conference like AWS reInvent. Yes, reInvent is the biggest cloud conference on the earth, but the tickets are expensive. If you are just starting out your cloud journey, you are not sure if it is worth it to pay that much money. Now, this is the secret. AWS hosts free conferences for you to attend. Even though they are free, all the speakers are from AWS and they are experts. So you can go to these events, learn, and also network with fellow cloud professionals. What do you have to lose? They are free. And that's what I did. I live near New York area, so I went to New York Summit, I went to serverless conference, etc., and then I networked like crazy. In general, Southeast Asians like me are shy, so this is your target. Go to one of these AWS summits and then during lunch, sit in a table where you do not know other folks. It's very easy to just stick with the folks you know and just stick to that group. Sit in a table where you don't know anyone and then just say, hey, my name is Raj, I work in this company. Uh, what company do you work for? Are you folks going to cloud? What challenges do you guys see? What is the cloud service you guys like? What are some of the learnings? Uh, what session did you attend? Anything good? Make this as your goal. As the summit starts happening from spring or summer, go to them and do this. And I'm just talking about AWS summits, but there are lots of free conferences that you should go and attend. Networking is priceless in this area. If you network with fellow coworker and their company is hiring, you can reach out and get a referral. So for example, AWS summit happens every year in Washington DC area. This is also a free one. Also New York summit is a popular one. I know a lot of my viewers are from India. There are AWS summits in Bangalore, Hyderabad, etc. So check them out. I have to mention ChatGPT. ChatGPT is awesome and here to stay. You can use this to study your AWS concepts. You can ask questions like write Python code for Lambda to insert into DynamoDB table. And ChatGPT will give you an actual Lambda code to insert into DynamoDB table. How cool is this? So it, it gave us the Python function to insert into DynamoDB and then it gave us the Lambda code. Uh, so if you stitch this together, you have a Lambda to insert into DynamoDB. Imagine doing this by going to Google and searching samples and stuff. This makes your life so easy. You can also ask ChatGPT, give me some AWS interview questions. And ChatGPT collected this data from different sites like Glassdoor, LinkedIn, and other websites, and then it gives you the questions from there. You can even ask ChatGPT like, write me a sample Docker file to containerize a Python application, and it will give you a Docker file. I highly recommend you to check out the ChatGPT video where I asked ChatGPT some of the popular AWS interview questions asks ChatGPT to code bunch of stuff, as well as ask ChatGPT some real world questions that I face in my day-to-day -day job. All right, folks, hopefully this video takes your career to new heights. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video.